Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I was playing around with a little thought experiment as I was watching a ratchet drawer tour on YouTube. I love watching the, the uh, technicians show off the different ratchets that they have. There's all kinds. People collect them from, you know, old school ones to particular brands to one of everything. And I started thinking, one of everything. I wonder how many you could actually get using a handful of different combinations um, or, or, cre or features, you know, combined in different order. Now, I'm not going to get into, you know, crazy ones like this. And I realized I have to leave out all of all of the uh, kind of adapter handles. And I'm not even going to go into the uh, electric ones. I mean, it just starts to get uh, pretty crazy. So just using sort of standard ratchets that could be built if they're not, but nothing terribly unusual. Um, I came up with over 800 different combinations. So let's take a look at where that number came from and then how easily it would be to get into the thousands. So first of all, there are essentially three sizes we're going to work with. There is quarter inch, um, there's half in, or there's uh, three eighths and there's half. Three different anvil sizes. So we start out with three. And then of those three, you can generally get it in three different kinds of handles. You can get it in the you know the bare metal you can get it in the hard plastic and or you know just what the hard handles and then of course you can get what a company might call a comfort grip something that's a little foamy a little smooth there um, with some some play uh, and so now we've got up to nine different things just in handles and in the size the anvil size uh, then we've got lengths and i'm going to say just for simplicity, there are five different common lengths. So there is the standard middle, you know, average length ratchet. Um, and then there are two longer ones. You could have a long and an extra long. Now we could expand that. I'll have to get to that maybe at the end, but um, so I can go two up. I can also go two down. So um, here is a, a short, um, I could call this maybe a short as well, and then all the way down to um, a, a full-on, wherever it went, stubby here. So I can go um, essentially two below, although it does get a little blurry with the, the uh, shorter. So that gives me a total of five different lengths, five average lengths that everyone would probably agree on. So now I've got my nine times five lengths, I've got 45 different choices. Then there's the, the question, does it flex or not? Um, and if it flexes, um, does it have a locking flex? So there is no flex, flex, and locking flex. So I'm gonna handle that as one criteria there. So now my 45 times three, I'm up to 135 different possible ratchets. Now let's talk um, if it locks onto the, the socket or not. A lot of ratchets will have a button. That button can appear in different ways. And it, it is either um, a lock on or not. So one or the other. And if it, if it doesn't lock, um, it's one option. If it does lock somehow, however that is, it's another option. So my 135 times two, is now 270 possibilities. Well, then we come down to essentially, I'm just gonna call it three different head sizes or head shapes. So we've got kind of the standard head shape. We have got uh, a, um, a round uh, swiveling head shape. This counts as one. This doesn't count as a flex. This is something else. And then we've also got just a straight round or standard round. So I've got three possibilities here for head shapes. And that gives me 270 times three is 810. So there's my, my over 800 different possibilities, um, depending on what, uh, what you use absolutely as criteria. It would be very easy to say, well, okay, what if I wanted a multi-position? You know, if I just added this or not, that would put it into 1,600 different possible ratchets. But um, imagine that this can't be a, say, a round-headed locking uh, flex in a multi-position. In other words, this is pretty much um, all you can do. If you had a flex here, you might run into trouble trying to line it up or, you know, 
fits in a funny situation. So things like this don't really allow us to enter it into this except by maybe adding one at the end, you know, or three. Or I guess if it came in different handles, maybe you could do nine if it came in different lengths. But this would have to be an absolute number added, not a part of the equation. So anyway, I'm curious what you think. Is this uh, realistic? Because I don't see any ratchet drawers on YouTube with 800 different ratchets in them. I've seen some that are probably close. Um, but that would be 800 essentially unique ratchets. Not 800, you know, ratchets where you might have four different colors of these. And I didn't even mention the colors. You know, you start going green, um, high vis, blue, you know, especially in the hard handles. There's all kinds of choices. Then it just starts getting crazy because then it could be special makeups and all of that. But just in distinct properties of ratchets, I've got 810 possibilities here. So let me know what you think. Is this realistic? And did I miss a feature? And with that, Doc out.